Hi, I'm Ray from Phone Arena and this is our HTC Desire 601 video review. HTC is slowly building an army of mid-range smartphones and the Desire 601 is one of the newest officers in its ranks. With a 4.5 QHD display, Snapdragon 400 SoC and a 5 megapixel camera, the Desire 601 is definitely not going to scare away the opposing armies on its own. But who knows? It might prove to be quite useful in the greater scheme of things. If you tend to enjoy that rubbery soft touch coating that HTC uses on some of its mainstream smartphones, you love the Desire 601 because it will give you just that. It's very, very soft touch. Some like it, others don't. So I guess it's just a matter of personal preference. Size-wise, the Desire 601 feels quite compact. It's very narrow and can be easily held and used with one hand only. If we have to comment on the actual appearance of the handset, we would say that the black version is quite boring, while the white one seems fine and has more of an HTC One kind of look. There is also a more eccentric red version. The buttons around the sides of the phone function quite well and are easy to press. Overall, the phone is well made and doesn't feel too cheap. It doesn't blow us away with anything, but it's okay. A nicely sized 4.5 inch screen is what the Desire 601 is equipped with, so it's neither small nor too big. Unfortunately, the resolution of the panel is just 540 by 960 pixels, which has led to the so so pixel density of 245 ppi. Legibility will hardly be an issue, but it sure is somewhat pixelized. As far as color balance goes, the Desire 601 treats us to some quite cold visuals, with a dominant blue that makes things on screen appear somewhat cooler than they should. Thankfully though, the maximum brightness of the screen reaches about 500 nits, resulting in a pretty good outdoor visibility. The viewing angles of this IPS LCD screen are also quite decent. It looks like HTC really enjoys the Sense5 UI that debuted on the One, as it's been used on pretty much every smartphone the company has produced since then, including the Desire 601. Here, Sense5 is running on top of Android 4.2.2, so you have a relatively up-to-date version of Android. To the leftmost end of the screen, you'll find the so-called Blink Feed, which aggregates various types of content like news, your calendar appointments, social updates, etc. It's a fine feature, but unfortunately, there is no option to turn it off if you want a more stockish experience. Other than Blink Feed, the rest of the home screen interface is your standard affair. You can have multiple pages used for app shortcuts and widgets. As you probably know, HTC Sense 5 is a pretty extensive UI, changing the look and functionality of most built-in applications including the dialer, messaging and organizer tools. All in all, we like HTC's custom user interface and think that it's among the most polished and unique ones out there. There are some small inconveniences, for example, adding icons and widgets to the home screen is unnecessarily complicated, but those things don't really ruin the overall positive impression. The Desire 601 is powered by the Snapdragon 400 chipset, which features a dual-core Create CPU at 1.4 GHz and the Adreno 305 GPU. While this uh, particular CPU-GPU combination may not sound particularly enticing, we're glad that the system itself manages to move at a steady pace without much lag. There might be a slight hiccup here and there, but on the whole it's satisfying and smooth experience. Thankfully, there is the sufficient for such a phone 1 GB of RAM, while internal memory comes in at 8 GB. While this kind of storage sounds ok for the most part, the problem is that the user accessible part of these uh, 8 GB is just 4.6 GB. And now that changes quite a bit, doesn't it? Don't worry, because HTC knows what it's doing, because the Desire 601 Sports a micro SD card slot, which will allow you to install additional storage space on the phone. HTC is keeping its own internet browser as the default option in the Desire 601, 
though Chrome is also available if you'd like to use that one instead. We like HTC's browser as it happens to be noticeably speedier than Chrome, although it lacks the auto text size inflating feature of Google's browser, making reading more inconvenient. Besides, double tap zooming doesn't work well on HTC's browser, but at least there is still support for Adobe Flash Player, which has become something of a rare find on Android phones these days. If you have the luck to be in an LTE part area, you'll be delighted to know that the HTC Desire 601 supports LTE connectivity. Still, if you don't have that kind of luck, and chances are that you don't, you'll be surfing the web at your standard HSPA plus speeds. The Desire 601 has a basic 5 megapixel camera with a relatively wide aperture of f2.0 and the BSI sensor. Sadly, HTC is yet to change its camera app interface, which works, but isn't particularly comfortable to use. That's so because all of the settings are stuffed inside a small pop-up window on the screen and you usually need to do a lot of scrolling up and down in order to find what you need. Photos often come out overly sharp and totally lacking in detail. Colors are, for the most part, realistic, though they do tend to appear just a bit warmer than they should. Dynamics aren't very good as well, with some well-lit areas easily ending up overexposed. Indoors, where there isn't plenty of light, noise starts to be an issue, especially due to the relatively high sharpness of the images. Still, colors manage to remain natural, so the situation isn't all that bad. The LED flash isn't anything to write home about. When you're using it, colors get strangely altered, but at least, you know, it's there if you happen to need some extra light. The HTC Desire 601 is capable of recording 1080p video at a relatively smooth frame rate. Despite the high resolution, however, the video doesn't really look very good and is suffering from the same issues as the photos – lack of details, sharpened image and noise. The Desire 601 allows you to enjoy all the multimedia entertainment out there, but there are some trade-offs. For example, the screen has a good size of 4.5 inches, but the 540 by 960 resolution means that you won't be able to enjoy YouTube videos in HD. In addition to the standard Android music player, HTC is also shipping its own music app, which is quite simple and efficient. It will display album art, artist photos and lyrics, but it lacks some more advanced functions, so if you want a bit more control over the settings, you might want to find a third-party player somewhere in the Play Store. The quality of the sound while making calls with the HTC Desire 601 is mediocre. The earpiece is fine for the most part, it has a strong output and average quality, but the microphone does a somewhat poor job at transmitting your voice to the other end of the line, where it appears a bit unclear. Equipped with a 2100 mAh battery unit, the Desire 601 will offer you decent battery life. The statistics provided by the manufacturer claim that 3G talk time should be around 13 hours, while 3G standby time is around 18 days, which are both average results. The HTC Desire 601 is an ok mid-range smartphone. It doesn't fascinate us in any area including the design, the internals and the software. However, it does deliver decent user experience with no significant slowdowns. Sadly, we are a bit disappointed to see the handset employ a resolution of 540 by 960 pixels as well as such a run-of-the-mill camera. These happen to be the components that are most obviously lacking in the Desire 601. Other than that, it's neither outstanding nor too bad in any aspect, it's just another mid-ranger. Hopefully HTC will price this one reasonably, but just in case you're put off by its price or something else, you might want to take a look at the HTC One Mini if you're ready to spend a bit more on a smartphone. Another option is the Desire 600, which is slightly higher end in every respect. Finally, if you're looking for something a bit more Samsung, the Galaxy S4 Mini might be all that you're looking for. It sports a typical Samsung experience on a slightly smaller screen, 
but he has a better camera. Thank you for watching our HTC Desire 601 video review. If you'd like to learn more about this smartphone, visit us at phonearena.com.